Hi guys, it's Lewis here. Um, I've just been to see uh, John Wick 3, uh, John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. Um, I've literally just Googled it as I left the cinema and it's got 95% on Rotten Tomatoes. And I normally really trust Rotten Tomatoes, but 95% is ridiculous. I mean, I say I trust it, it's a review aggregator, so you, there's, it's not a matter of opinion, it's just the average score of all the re reviews. But 95%? Bloody hell. Um, he just shoots people and kicks people and then um, doesn't put any facial expressions and then there's a dog. That's what these films are. And I knew that going in. I'm, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan. I don't even know why I went to see it. Um, I mean, if you like the previous ones, then yeah, it's, it's, it's the same. Um, again, which I expected. And like early on, I was like, oh, I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying this. I like all the action and that, and it was good. And then there's a few slower bits, which are a bit boring. Um, and then it goes back to action again. And then, but by the end of it, I was bored of the action as well. It's just, he doesn't even say funny things. He just, yeah. But people kept laughing as well at like really violent bits. And there was some, you know, some satisfyingly grotesque violence, especially for a 15 rated film. But people kept laughing at weird times. And I didn't get why. I was like, ah, oh, he just slammed that guy's head into a thing. Haha. <laughs> classic comedy um i mean i'm not saying it was bad I, 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 these films aren't for me anymore and i just i don't i, I knew that but i still went and sit and saw it i mean there's nothing wrong with it but the highlight for me the bit i really really enjoyed was about halfway through with Halle berry in, and um primarily i enjoyed it because she has two uh german shepherds i think they were and they're amazing like they're they're the best thing in the film like they're the best actors in the film as well these dogs are incredible um, and there's a big action scene with her and John Wick and the dogs and, and just assorted villains. That was great. I was like, ah, oh, I really like this. And then, yeah, but by the end of it, when he fights the 50 millionth guy and, uh, yeah, I was just, I'm done. Two hours is too much for this. I mean, it, it was fine. The, the ending, the conclusive bit was, was, was fine. But <laughs> Ian McShane's great as the guy, um, I can't remember his bloody name, doesn't matter, does it? Um, but yeah, if you like uh, the Johnny Wick films, then you'll like it. If you like Keanu Reeves, I mean, I really like Keanu Reeves. I don't have a problem with him. Yeah, he doesn't change his face expression ever, but who who cares, right? Who needs to do that when you're an actor? Um, I really like his dog. His dog's really cool. He's in it a little bit. And as I said, I love Halle Berry and the German Shepherds. I would watch a film about Halle Berry and the German Shepherds. I want to watch that film right now. It can be called Halle Berry and the German Shepherds, and I would watch that immediately. Someone do a spin-off of the the dogs. Yeah, that's all I want. John Wick 3, 4, the dogs. Oh, it, it sets up for another sequel as well. I think I'm done. I think that's it for me. The cinema especially. Yeah, I'm good. Um, so yeah, that was my review of Joe Wick's um, Parallelogram, wherever it's called. Um, but yeah, thanks.